Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Thanks for joining me for today's CCNA 200 301 Daily Pop Quiz, The Cost of Greatness. And we're going to see immediately what the heck that has to do with today's question, because here is today's question. Which of these is true of OSPF? Choose all that apply, if any. A. OSPF considers the speed of an interface when assigning that interface's metric. B. All OSPF route types have an administrative distance of 110. C. There is no DRBDR election on an OSPF point-to-point -point link. D. Gig Ethernet and fast Ethernet interfaces have the same default OSPF speed. Hmm. So a lot going on in today's question, so if you want to take a little more time to think about it, feel free to hit the pause button. I want to thank all of you who have already joined my 200301 video boot camp out on Udemy. It's the fastest growing CCNA course out there. If you haven't, follow this link and or the link that I'll put in the video description and get in for the best possible price. As always, all videos are downloadable. Get your CCNA with me on your schedule. You can't beat it. Now let's take a look at today's question and then we'll go through the answers one by one. Which of these is true of OSPF? Well, A, OSPF considers the speed of an interface when assigning that interface's metric. That is absolutely true. And the reason I call this one the cost of greatness is to again suggest to you and those of you who have taken OSPF courses and uh, question, questions from me before, it's like, oh, he's going to talk about cost again. But yes, the metric assigned to an interface and that overall route metric is called cost in OSPF. The words cost and metric tend to get used interchangeably, but on your exam and in Cisco world, OSPF metric equals cost and not any other routing protocol. It is definitely the word cost. Now that I've hammered that into the ground, let's get to the other three. Uh, all OSPF route types have an administrative distance of 110. That is absolutely true. And there are actually six route types or six route codes that you can see assigned to OSPF routes. You're not going to see them all during your CCNA studies, but they all have an administrative distance of 110 by default, unlike, say, EIGRP, which has different ADs for an internal route and an external route. C, there is no DRBDR election on an OSPF point-to-point -point link. That is absolutely true. Because if it's a point-to-point -point link, you only have two routers, and you really don't have to worry about going through the orderly notification of a network change when you only have two speakers on a line. You know, A is going to tell B, or B is going to tell A, and that's it. So that's one of the reasons we have a DRBDR election, is so we can choose the router that's going to notify everybody on a segment about a network change. And in a point-to-point -point link, you don't need that. You don't need the overhead of the election. So by golly, we do not have the election. Finally, D, Gig Ethernet and Fast Ethernet interfaces have the same default OSPF speed. Believe it or not, that is actually true. They both have a default speed of 1. And you might think, well, why? Because, you know, Fast Ethernet, Gig Ethernet, you know, one's literally 10 times faster than the other. Well, when the formula to determine an OSPF cost for an interface was developed, you know, gig ethernet was a fantasy. We, we just didn't have it. So the thing was, the formula works out pretty well until you get to fast ethernet, gig ethernet, and even 10 gig ethernet, because they all come out to a default cost of one. And that's not really what we want. It's not giving OSPF the most accurate picture of the network. So what I'm going to do is actually create some five minute video boot camps and I'm going to put those on YouTube the week of August 30 and I'll show you a couple of different ways. First I'm going to show you that that's true uh, and I'll, I'll show you that on live Cisco routers as always and then I'll show you a couple of techniques for letting OSPF know exactly what is going on with those interfaces and to adjust those speeds just a little bit. But that is it for today's video pop quiz. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you again tomorrow. I'll see you out on Udemy with the video bootcamp. I'm Chris Bryant. As always, thanks for making my work part of your success story.